hello students in this video i will cover module 3 that is on embedded system components so this video presentation prepared by professor manjana patel now we'll go to the table of contents so what all the topics i'll be covering in this video so first i will be going to the topic that is embedded versus a general computing system then history of embedded systems classification of embedded system then major application areas of embedded system purpose of embedded system then core of an embedded system so before covering these topics so first we need to understand what is embedded system here so what is this embedded system an embedded system is an electronic system designed to perform a specific function or task and is the combination of hardware software and mechanical components now we'll see some of the examples of embedded system so example for embedded system is washing machine so in this image we can see this is in a washing machine and it is an embedded system why because it is an electronic system which is designed to perform a specific function or a task so this washing machine which is designed for a specific function that is to wash the clothes and it is a combination of hardware software and mechanical components the hardware like it has buttons start button stop button display button and buzzer button and the software it has a chip on the circuit that holds the software which control and monitor the various operations and mechanical components the internals of washing machine which actually wash the clothes control the input and output of a water now going to the next example of embedded system that is ac air conditioner so air conditioner is an embedded system because it is an electronic system designed to perform a specific function or task and it is a combination of hardware software and mechanical components hardware like it has a remote display buzzer sensors and electronic circuits and the software it has a chip on the circuit that holds the software which control and monitor the various operation of ac and the software monitors the external temperature through the sensors and then releases the coolant in the ac then mechanical components the internal of an air conditioner the motor the outlet are mechanical components of ac air so with this examples what we can understand is what we can understand that is uh, we can understand the three points the first point an embedded system is designed to do a specific function or job only example washing machine can only wash clothes second point the hardware and mechanical components will consist all the physically visible things that are used for input and output here and the third point an embedded system will always have a chip either microprocessor or microcontroller that has the code or software which drives the system coming to the topic embedded versus general computing system so embedded systems they are microcontroller based systems then they are designed for specific purpose and the power consumption is less they are not end user programmable now coming to the general computing systems they are microprocessor based systems and they are designed for general purpose power consumption is high and they are end user programmable now going to the history of embedded systems in the olden days embedded systems were built around the old vacuum tubes and the transistors technologies and the embedded algorithm was developed in low level languages as you can see in the picture so this is the first recognized modern embedded system that is apollo guidance computer so this apollo guidance computer was the first modern system which collects and provide flight information and automatically control 
all of the navigational functions of Apollo spacecraft. It was developed in the early 1960s for the Apollo program by the MIT Instrumentation Lab under Charles Stark Dapper. So this uh, guidance computer made the moon landing possible and the man on the moon was a huge milestone in the history of uh, technology. Then this Apollo guidance computer was the first recognizable modern embedded system used in real time by astronauts pilots to collect and provide flight information. And this Apollo guidance uses the integrated circuit of 1 MHz clock, 4 KB ROM and 256 RAM. Now coming to the another embedded system that is Atonetix D70. And in the year 1961, another one crucial military project initiated and it was Minuteman 1. So for this, Atonetix D17 guidance computer was designed and also it was the first embedded system to be produced in the large quantities. Then in the year 1965, the first embedded system that is as a commercial was launched it was a 12-bit PDP-8 mini computer. Consequently, in the year 1966, Minuteman 2 was introduced, which is less cost compared to the Minuteman 1. Then, in the year 1968, Intel was founded by Robert Noss and Jordan Moore. This is the beginning of Intel, led to the evolution of microcontrollers and microprocessors. Then in the year 1969, microprocessor based fuel injection system was introduced in Volkswagen cars. Then in the year 1971, the first 4-bit microprocessor that is Intel 4004 was developed by Intel. In the same year, the microcontroller that is TMS1000 that is 1000 it is a 4-bit microcontroller was developed by Texas Instruments. Further, in the year 1974, Intel 8080 was developed and it was the first microprocessor to be used in personal computer. And in the year 1980, the microcontroller became demanded technology and in the year 1983 HP 150 personal computer which is introduced by Dave Packard and Bill Havlett and it was the first touch screen computer and in the year 1987 VXworks real time embedded operating system introduced by Wind River systems and this is real time embedded operating system was used for NASA Mars, Mars Pathfinder mission. Then in the year 1992, the embedded system went wireless. So in this year, 10 million mobile phones were manufactured using the embedded system for controlling their functioning. And in the year 1996, Microsoft entered into the embedded market and it designed its handheld personal computer using the Windows CE 1.0 operating system. Following with the Windows operating system in the year 1999, the Linux Foundation started developing in embedded systems. And in the beginning of 2000 year, in the year 2000, a second parallel revolution occurred in the embedded system and in the year 2005 Intel IBM AMD releases their first multi-core processors and by the year 2007 the Apple releases its first iPhone mobiles. Following the iPhone Apple in the year 2008 the first Android phone was launched and the Android code became an open source operating system. So what we can conclude in the history of embedded system 
for 95% of electronic chips produced in a year are for embedded systems and this there are hidden in familiar objects so these are, are hidden in familiar objects like airlines car mobile phones micro ovens washing machines camera refrigerators and many more electronic devices thank you